now go to the start click on the run type CMD click on OK button then first you need to check whether the proxy compiler is installed in your system or not so for that just type PROC proxy you will get the output like this if you get this output then it is sure that the proxy is installed in your system okay now go to the run type DVENV which opens the Visual Studio.net okay the editor Visual Studio editor go to the file menu new and then select project here select Visual C++ and then general and in the right side pane select empty project here I'm giving the project name as demo proxy click on OK so this creates our project right click on the header files right click on the header files select add and select existing item now go to the directory where the oracle is installed in your system so here uh, the oracle is installed in h drive so i am going to the h drive in the oracle folder and then select precomp this is the folder okay and again select lib lib and then select msvc here select these two files and add it to the project now right click on the source files add new item select code and select ok and now I am giving the file name as first.pc click on add here I am copying a file which has already been written ok so I'm copying the whole file and I'm pasting it here. Okay. This is the Proxy program. Okay. Which I have given the name as first.pc. Now right click on the source files, add new item. And I'm giving the file name as first.c. Remember the PC file name and the C file name must have the same name the extensions are different okay see here uh, it doesn't have any code in first.c okay now go to the directory where the project is saved in your local drive okay here it is saved in e drive so i'm going to e drive cd space youtube and then demo pro c and then see here you can see those two files first.c and first.pc ok now compile the first.pc with proc compiler proc space first.pc ok see select as to all here this is the code which is generated by the proc compiler to you ok after generating the this code you need to run this thing almost 400 lines of code is generated okay this is the program which is equivalent to the code which has been written in first.pc so go to the debug menu start with debugging okay select this option and select s and see you'll get the output like this and now go to the database Here I'm connecting to the Oracle database, giving the password as Tiger. So we so select the department table and data. So this is the data, okay, which is in the tables. Okay, now 
I'm giving the department ID as 60 so the department name is finance and the location is US so here you can see the output